Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Angles 1. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Now, let us go through the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Know what an angle is. 2. Identify various angles. And 3. Know the unit of angles. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. What is an angle? An angle is defined as the space in which one line must cover to meet the other line. Note that when two straight edges or lines meet, they form a corner. An angle measures how sharp such corners are. An angle also measures the amount of turning to be made if we move from one of the straight edges to the other. Other examples of angles are shown on the board. That's good. Identification of angles. Angles are formed when two lines intersect or meet at a point called vertex. The measure of the opening between these two lines is called an angle. Angles are represented by the symbols and are usually measured in degrees. For instance, the line X and Y meet at O. The angle formed is called angle X O Y or angle Y O X. Example 2. The line W X Y and Z meet at O. The angles formed are angle W O X angle W O Y and angle W O Z That's brilliant. Note that the symbol is on O because that is where the angle is formed. Unit of angles. Angles are measured in degrees and minutes. This can be compared with the movement of the arms of a clock which measures minutes and seconds. When one end of the clock makes a complete turning back to where it started, we say it has made a complete rotation. These parts make up 360 degrees. We have 60 minutes in one degree. And 60 seconds makes one minute. Remember that the clock is subdivided into 12 equal parts. A movement from the starting point of 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock is 1 over 12 of a rotation by the second hand. Therefore, the second hand moves 1 divided by 12 times 360 degrees. This gives us 30 degrees. That's brilliant. Note that, to change minutes to degrees, we divide by 60. And, to change degrees to minutes, we multiply by 60. Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What an angle is all about. 2. How to identify various angles. And 3. The unit of angles. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next class. Thanks. And goodbye.